This week, we're talking about the power of the tongue. We use our tongues all the time to talk, to eat, to taste, to chew and to swallow. But your tongue can move because it's all muscle and it's made of eight different muscles that work together as a matrix, and that's called a muscular hydrostat. It's kind of like an elephant's tongue, and it can move up, down, left, right, in, out, and any combination of those movements. And while our tongue helps us eat, including taste, which is amazing, today we're looking at the power of the tongue through speech. And our verse this week comes from James chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouths, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which, though they be so great, and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. The Bible compares the power of our tongue to three things. One, the tongue is like a bit in a horse's mouth. Horses by nature are pretty wild. I haven't tamed a wild horse, but I have worked with wild cattle, and it's incredibly difficult to make an animal that is larger than you do something they don't want to. But wild horses are quote unquote broken, and with a bit in a horse's mouth, you can stop or turn the whole animal just by tugging on that little piece of metal in its mouth, called a bit. Our tongue is like that bit. Number two, the tongue is like the helm of a ship. A helm is basically a ship's steering wheel, which is connected to a rudder under the ship. The ship's captain can turn that tiny little wheel up top, and this massive ship that may weigh several tons will turn. Both the helm and the rudder are only a fraction of the size of the rest of the ship, but it has the power to direct a ship safely through a storm or to run it aground. Our tongue is like that helm. Number three, the tongue is like a fire. Fire is not always bad. It can give us light, it can keep us warm, and can cook our food. Just this past week, I used a tiny little propane camp stove to cook fish in the cold. That fire was a wonderful thing. But when I was younger, lightning struck my house and caused a fire in our house. My brother, myself, and our friend were in that house, and at that point, fire was a very bad thing. Fire has the power to cook and to burn, it has the power to give life and to bring death. Our tongue is like that fire. So our weekly question is, how has your tongue been used this past week? Have you used it to bring life or to bring death? Have you used it to build up or to tear down? A weekly challenge is to think of three ways that you can use your tongue for life. And not only think of those three things, but actually find somebody and use your tongue for life three times. And so you can do that by telling someone they've done a good job, thank someone who's helped you, or give a compliment. Now, be careful to avoid flattery, or even the appearance of flattery, because that comes across as an insincere compliment, and that's a negative, not a positive. Um, and so, how do you tell the difference? Well, flattery comes from the teeth, but a compliment comes from the heart. Thanks for joining me.